Dear students, welcome back to Smart Biology Tricks. Today we are going to discuss about an important topic that comes from cell biology subject. It is from unit 5, cell interactions and signal transduction. And this is the uh, unit content of unit 5. So here we will be discussing about different uh, types of junctions, gap junctions, tight junctions, adherence junctions and chemical signaling in unicellular organisms and uh, higher organisms and receptors and different types of receptors and their role in signal mediation and uh, different types of secondary messengers also we are going to discuss and importantly cyclic EMP, cyclic GMP and uh, uh, calcium ions, phosphatidylinositol and phytohormones. Okay. So we'll just discuss about what is mean by cell interactions. So cell signaling also known as cell communication or signal transduction is a process by which cells communicate with each other to coordinate their activities and respond to their environment. So cell signaling is nothing. It is also called as biosignaling, cell communication. It is a kind of communication between the cells. In case of uh, unicellular organism, say for example bacteria, so bacteria in the environment uh, between one bacteria to another bacteria, bacteria are communicating and also the bacteria can communicate with uh, other types of other uh, uh, organisms also. So similarly, uh, in multicellular organism, cells present in our body, say for example tissues, uh, cells present in the heart cells, heart organs and brains uh, the different organs of our body contains many uh, millions and millions of cells so all the cells present in the organ system are communicating every minute or every second uh, in a in a living organism the cells are communicating each other so that the bio signaling happens between the cells because of that metabolism, uh, growth of the cell, cellular division, everything can be possible. So this kind of interactions between the cells are called as cell signaling or cell communication or bio signaling. In the picture you can see uh, the three steps are mentioned. First one is reception, transduction and response. So reception means this is the first step in the cell communication. So the star-like structure you can see this is a kind of signaling molecule. The signaling molecule will bind on the surface of the cell. This cell might be a multicellular organism cell or might be a unicellular organism cell. Every cell on the surface some receptors will be there. So this receptor is the starting point where the signaling molecule will come and bind. So once the binding or interaction between the signaling molecule that is a ligand and receptor interaction happens because of this interaction some conformational changes will happen inside the uh, receptor that is present inside the cytoplasm uh, area of the cell. Because of the conformational changes in the protein some physiological changes happens that uh, is called as transduction because of this interaction ligand and receptor interaction uh, some some uh, uh, physiological changes are happening that is called as transduction so the next step is response because of the transduction some response will happen that response might be activation of certain enzymes or activation of certain proteins or sometimes cellular division will happen, DNA replication will happen, transcription, translation process also might be happen. Some time the protein channels will open up so that entry and exit of certain molecules between the cells also takes place. So this kind of responses will take place inside of the cell because of the cell to cell communication. So uh, the cell signaling involves in the transmission of molecular signals from one cell to another. It can also occur through various mechanism including direct uh, cell to cell contact or secretion of signaling molecules and the detection of extracellular matrix components. And here you can see the different types of cell signaling. So you can see uh, there are three different types of cell signaling are available in multicellular organisms. First one is autocrine signaling and second one is paracrine signaling and third one is endocrine signaling. So first one if you see the autocrine signaling it is a self. So a signaling molecule will be produced by the cell and it will be utilized by the same cell. So this kind of mechanism is called as autocrine uh, signaling mechanism. Say for example in prokaryotic uh, 
cell uh, certain uh, proteins will be produced uh, say for example bacteria it is producing a protein that is responsible for activating certain genes uh, uh, in the bacterial system itself so a protein will be produced by the cell and then it will be utilized by the cell to activate or trigger certain genes so this kind of example is uh, uh, might be uh, apt for the autocrine mechanism or in multicellular organism also a protein a specific protein growth factor protein or cell dividing factor protein might be produced by the cell will be utilized by the same cell so that is an example for autocrine in case of paracrine here you just understand the concept one signaling molecule will be produced by the cell so this signaling molecule will be sent uh, to the uh, external factor external environment might be in multicellular organism the extracellular matrix will be there so the signaling molecule will be secreted outside of the cell and uh, the recipient cell so this cell will be a recipient cell this will be this cell will be the uh, donor cell the cell which is donating or secreting the signaling molecule will be termed as donor cells the cell which is receiving the signaling molecule will be termed as recipient cell so the recipient cell will receive the signaling molecule from the donor cell because of that recipient uh, reception this recipient cell will undergo some psychological uh, sorry uh, physiological changes so some changes will happen inside the cell so this is the kind of mechanism so this kind of mechanism we can take on example say for example if any insect bites you uh, the swelling might happen so the swelling might be sometime a larger swelling also might happen uh, so other than the exact point where the insect bites and uh, the neighboring cells also get swelled because uh, of the communication of uh, paracrine communication the neighboring cells are sharing the toxin so that the neighboring cells uh, try to destroy the toxin molecule so that the swelling is happening the, like because of the osmosis process more amount of water molecules will be uh, obtained by the cell so that the swelling is happening and then it is trying to destroy the uh, toxic material injected by the uh, insect and uh, through the increasing the ph or activating the certain enzymes so in that that way uh, paracrine mechanism will happen the third mechanism that is um, that is called endocrine mechanism here if you see the signaling molecule will be produced by one particular cell and then it will be diffused in the bloodstream and then the uh, through the bloodstream the signaling molecule will reach almost all the part of the body and then uh, some actions it, it the, the action of the signaling molecule might be very uh, in long distance it will happen so these are the three different types of signaling mechanism that are exist in the in the multicellular organism and also in the unicellular organism so the same uh, example and uh, uh, the definitions it is presented in this slide if you see the autocrine signaling autocrine signaling is a pro uh, cell produces signaling molecules that binds to the receptor on its own surface leading to a response within the same cell so the signaling molecule will be produced by the cell and it will be pro uh, it will be utilized by the same cell that is an example for autocrine signaling mechanism this process is often associated with the regulation of cell growth and differentiation when the cell is uh, undergoing for the differentiation process say for example the callus tissue in plant system is slowly differentiated into mature cell so in that case uh, this kind of autocrine signaling mechanism will happen and also cell growth when cell is growing uh, in a size so in that time also autocrine signaling mechanism will be helpful so here another picturative presentation for, to understand the different types of um, cell communication so you can see here uh, autocrine signaling mechanism a protein will be or protein or, or any kind of signaling molecule the signaling molecule might be a dust particle or sometimes proteins or enzymes hormones or sometimes it is just a ion particles dust particles might be any kind of molecule which is bringing some uh, response some changes inside of the cell will be considered as signaling molecule so in this case a cell is producing one signaling molecule and it is utilized by the same cell so this uh, mechanism is called as autocrine mechanism that we know very well and paracrine mechanism a signaling molecule will be produced by the donor cell 
and it will be uh, utilized by the recipient cell. So this kind of mechanism is called as paracrine mechanism. In endocrine mechanism, what we discussed, a cell will produce in the signaling molecule, then it will be uh, diffused in the bloodstream and in the distance region of the multicellular organism, this signaling molecule will travel and some cell in different area located in different part of the body will utilize the signaling molecule through the blood vessels, uh, through the uh, diffusion in the blood circulation. So this is called as hormonal signaling. So endocrine signaling. So these are the three different types of signaling mechanisms are existed in the living organism. So this slide that uh, tells you about the uh, definition of paracrine mechanism, paracrine signaling. In paracrine signaling, cells release signaling molecules into the extracellular fluid. This keyword you just noted down, extracellular fluid, where they only affect nearby target cells. So in paracrine signaling, there might be some, um, uh, what to say, some... Uh, short of distance only the molecule will diffuse certain uh, distance period on certain distance area only the molecule will diffuse and it will its action will happen so beyond that level the paracrine signaling mechanism will not work so that the multicellular organism is having another kind of uh, process that is called as endocrine signaling in endocrine signaling specialized cells that releases signaling molecules that are called as hormones that is diffused into the bloodstream through the bloodstream it is circulated throughout the body and then uh, the molecule is uh, reaching the target cell and the actions of the signaling molecule will uh, happen inside the target cell so this is a third types of mechanism that is cell uh, endocrine signaling mechanism and uh, the key components of signaling mechanism that includes two different things. One is signaling molecule and receptor. You can see here, I just enlarged the picture. You can see here, this is the signaling molecules. As I said, signaling molecule might be any kind of molecule. It might be a dust particle. It might be a ion particle. It might be a charged particles or uncharged particles. Sometimes protein, sometimes carbohydrates, sometimes lipids. It might be a water molecule or water dissolving molecules, any kind of molecule which produces some changes inside the cell that can be considered as a signaling molecule, maybe a drug molecule. So drugs which we are consuming that also kind, kind of a signaling molecule. So this signaling molecule will bind on the receptors uh, present on the cell surface. In case of multicellular organism, the outermost covering layer is nothing but it is a plasma membrane. On every pl plasma membrane, a receptor is present. Receptors are nothing, it is a protein molecule. So protein molecules, just like a antenna that we kept uh, on the uh, top of our building, uh, like uh, to receive the signals, might be a dish antenna. Uh, such kind of uh, signaling receiving molecules are present. Uh, in the uh, cell surface also that we call it as receptor. So this receptor will bind with the signaling molecule because of that some uh, changes will happen. Some different molecules will be produced inside of the cell because of that primary messengers and secondary messengers will be produced. So this primary and secondary messengers will, will uh, uh, on the other hand it will produce some uh, cytological changes inside of the cell. Those cytological changes are cytoskeleton regulating protein it might be or uh, activation of cytoskeleton regulating protein or metabolic enzyme or transcription factors that will produce some changes. What are all the changes? Faster uh, cellular response or slower cellular response, right? So this is the process of cell signaling that is happening inside of the cell. So, so far now we discussed about what is meant by cell signaling and different types of cell signaling and how the cell signaling is happening inside the cell that we have discussed. In our next class, we'll discuss about different types of receptors and their mechanism and their types also we'll discuss. Until then, thank you for watching. Have a good day.